sell his shirt. the belt I'd say <laughs> so these guys Coral are undefeated yes yeah, so the winner here has to be beaten twice the loser gets the winner of Luna and Standifer I didn't see what they landed on did you I didn't um, I was just trying to see if they'd worked out any kind of a 1099 arrangement yet I'm guessing that there is uh, a 100% no chop going on <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say that. I'm just, it may happen again one day. I'm guessing today's not. It might day. be that Chinese wall course. <laughs> the China wall course is great. Shout, out to, shout think, out to Mike Johnson. I think they're on Cat. Today. Yes. Cat yes. Adreus again. All right. Cat Adreus can be uh, a little bit more fun, a little bit more. This is going to be fun, highly volatile, fun firepower right and here. And this also the the course that Stenmark won the worlds on. In and extra and, holes and the battle of the full masters. Yes. A lot of these ultimate tier pros can do the full shots. Joe who and plays guys. the game down to the pixel on the screen. Yes. And Mark, who just, he knows every single thing that there is to know. Yes. Yeah. You got to like those shoes. Why did Joe hit it into the sand right there? Was that a mistake, Corey? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he thinks he can get a good chish from there. Probably. I is, do, too. Yeah, probably a little five wood or something. And <laughs> mm. it was Dude, that. That was tough luck. It was that one green sand. Yeah, but you know what? You're a gamer. You played. You played well. Oh, uh, we could. It'd probably be online. Okay, cool. Getting a lot of compliments on my looks on the news to right now. Yeah. My uh, bachelor status in town just went up. A lot of right swipes going on on Tinder. Yeah, so I right hit, uh, this is a hard hole for me. I don't know. I went water twice today on this. One time because I uh, made a mistake, and another time because I got cute, tried to skip off the water. Hmm. Yeah. I never got to play cat. Really? Yeah, didn't play as long as I wanted to today. Uh, yeah, I didn't have many matches. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't either. <sighs> Mark with the, the nervous tick, the, <laughs> like watching the game in a strobe light. Yeah, I know a lot of people want to know why he does that. <laughs> and I'm... <laughs> that might go. Oh, that's, heavens. That's why he does it. But still not enough. In the end, the 45-foot putt is the same as a one-foot putt. That's, I think that's a metaphor for life. I, I would agree with that. Yeah. Something to be said about life gives you a 45-foot putt. Still got to make it. You make lemonade. Yeah. So we had a, uh, a look like your character uh, contest here, I think, this weekend. And I would imagine that it would have been hard for Mark Stenmark to lose. 
Yeah. 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 Now, see, Evan plays as a girl. So his doesn't look exactly like him. Whereas he, Mark is literally playing as Mark Stenmark. He's literally playing as. The it would have been really hard for Joe to champion. look like a golden retriever, too. Yes. <laughs> It was a good turnout for that contest, by the way. <laughs> I think Eric Lichtman won that. Eric Lichtman, which who will see, our good friend Eric, will see him at TOC here in October. TOC in Madison, Wisconsin. A very short few weeks away. One of, one of my favorite tournaments. It's... Uh, Club Lucky does it right. They do a good job. They Absolutely. Bring some money to, to give out. And Madison, a fun town. There's a, some really strong bartenders. Oh, they're known for their arm wrestling uh, bar hops, where you can just like go bar to bar and arm wrestle the bartenders. It's best to do it on Friday night and not go back Saturday night and arm wrestle the same bartenders. Yeah, we lucked out last year. It was a, the Badgers were away, so we didn't have an influx of people in the bar. We have not scouted that out. Do we know if they're in town or out of town this year? Well, I got Google right here. Let's see. What's the date? Do you know the date? Uh, let's go the weekend of 2021. It's usually your anniversary, right? Shout I mean, out it, to Lisa Cannon, who's probably listening. <laughs> this year, it's not on our anniversary. Oh, okay. The weekend before that, we hit 30 years together, my beautiful bride and I. How I got that lucky, I still don't know. Yeah, I've met her, and... She's a saint. She's a saint. Yes. What weekend did you say? Let's go with uh, 2019. Yeah, yeah, They're exactly. in Illinois. They're gone again. They're out of town again. Oh, boy. Oh, brother. Oh, Jamie, uh, speaking of uh, beautiful brides. Yes. We were just talking about beautiful, beautiful brides, and lo and behold. And then you walked in. Thank you. Yeah. So, not sure what's happening in the match. We've just been given beverages, so we're going to take those. Yep. <laughs> uh, cheers. Cheers, Corey. To you being back in Evansville, my friend. I love being home and seeing all my favorite people. Yeah, it's the the I the world feels better when you're when you're near. <laughs> okay, sir. I feel oh, like and Zach bought them. <laughs> Zach Pilger bought these, by the way. Was this a common another song? person who? It's, it's, it's better when he's around. The two best people at Gulti ever. As yes. Far as the I think like. I, yes. I absolutely hate qualifying at tournaments. I hate it. But twice now I've done it with Zach, and I still suck at it, but I have fun. Isn't it the best? Yeah, me and Zach have a good time. Well, shout out also to Brammer. Well, we don't even know his first name. <laughs> We're going to see. I think he played with Joe Montana at Notre Dame, That's right. Dame, didn't he? he did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He played the slot. Yeah. Right in the parking lot. That was actually his... Best time of his life. That's what we heard about as we're going. Yeah. If anybody listening to this knows Brammer, I think he plays out of northern Indiana. He uh he went outside in the parking lot and he was he was on some sort of medication and fireball. And that combination oh huff and paint. Something, but it turned him into just qualifier extraordinaire. He couldn't speak yeah. English words anymore, but threw like a 29 on Royal Dubai. Like, I've never seen, you know, it's was, it was, it was Dubai. Yeah. He's not like a 26. So you know, well, that, that it was, paint, paint's the way to go. Yeah. You gotta be in the paint. That me and, me and Pilger are like half drunk in perfect golden team mode, and we can't shoot 24, and, and Brammer throws one on us. Sometimes it takes a little bit of cry long. <laughs> All right, where are we at? Where are we at here? Sorry. Uh, back to Got golf. a little excited. Shots made me excited there. So this, we had, we had a few players that were leaving town, headed back home. Uh, a few locals that had come into the bar to say hi. Oh, and Joe. Yeah, this is a really good ball. So that's a, that's a nice look at this hole. Pretty straightforward, but it still requires a deft touch.
suffice it to say that even though we have cleaned up some of the drama, both of these guys really want to win this one a little oh, more absolutely. than they normally do. Absolutely. Yeah. Still knotted up. These guys have played against each other in tournaments before Worlds, after Worlds uh, a couple of years ago, but that, that Worlds match was epic, and it really put Joe front and center on the world stage of just, this is a guy you have to pay attention to now. He's, oh, always, he's, he's, always, he's always been uh, a big yeah. daily player, uh, just constantly in, if, if, if you see him in your rounds, you know, when you're playing your live rounds, he's always up there at the top of the screen yeah. too. But this guy, um, Nick Cornelius and JoJo and I, I want to like to say like back before JoJo was JoJo. We used back to hang out after just the St. Joe Massara. Joe Massara. Yeah, he, he wasn't was just, JoJo yet. I think he was JoJo 1.0. He wasn't even 2.0 at that time. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'd hang out after the rounds were over at the St. Louis bars. Uh, after our qualifiers and Friday night handies. And JoJo just figured things out and took it to incredible levels. And he is just... The, one of the top guys that you just have to reckon with every tournament. Yeah, going to the uh, Powercade and watching him, well, and all the guys for that matter, but especially him because he's back there on his two machines in the corner kind of by himself, set apart. Watching him dissect the daily is really something to watch. It's like it's different than how most people play Golden. Yeah. It's really fascinating. Because it's, you know, we all think of Golden Tea as this, we go drink at the bar, we're having a good time. I mean, it's work. He's working. Th this is his yeah. job. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And he's very good at his job. Yeah, there's not a ton of smiling that happens. No. All right, so, tied at the turn. A couple holes coming up that can be tricky. The par three that... The Decker part in the in the world's coming up. You yes. get that one. Yes. Hey, you guys doing some insights? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. And we're more we're more anecdotal than than you're you know, you're analytical. I'm also dumb as rocks too, so I'm <laughs> <laughs> drinking now, so I know. By the way, it, how good does it feel to have mouth at our tournament? I, it, it's, would, would I don't even feel the, like it's a tournament if mouth's not yeah. there. Would you say he's the best? Golden Tea ambassador for the everyman. I, I I do, because uh, at any point in in the four day tournament weekend, you can go up talk to that guy, pull him aside. He'll say, "Let's go play. Let's go play together." Yeah, and he'll go play with you. Yeah, he'll show you everything he knows. He's not hiding. He's trying to grow it, and he roots for you. Absolutely. Yes. And he'll be your friend the next tournament. Absolutely. Yes. Impressive. I call him Mark, and he says I'm the only guy that calls him Mark. And he always gives me his, uh, this big bear hug after I call him Mark. I, I would call him his last name, but I don't. I still can't. Is it Muklevich? I, I think it's Shashevsky. Okay, gotcha. I think he coaches at Duke when he's not playing gold. Oh, team. no. So Masara in the water. Oh, no. So, um, well, this uh, this alignment wasn't really great. Well, I think as, he as just didn't he didn't cut it enough. I think he was trying to cut it through there. And I'm just saying that Mr. Stenmark might could do the same thing. Well, it, or he could do that. It this wouldn't is, shock me if he still made this. This is why they're out there playing, and I'm sitting back here on a microphone. Yeah. He's, Eagles Eagles still not out of the question. Right. Wow. You called it. <laughs> I don't have that shot, Mike. Do you have that shot? Mm, no. Have you tried that shot? I didn't know that you could try that shot. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm going to save this stream and watch it like <laughs> seven times. So, yeah, there are some times when you're watching the stream, they'll put guys on that can explain how Joe did that. Yeah. This is not that time. This is not that time. <laughs> we would have to have Joe sit down and explain how Joe did that shot. <laughs> And so, yeah, like, like Mark is trying to deconstruct what Joe just yeah. did so that he can keep his stroke advantage on this hole. So, yeah, uh, to turn that into a no stroke lost hole for Joe, Joe's got the with box. the six wood and the trap or in the sand. It wasn't a trap. You, you think, don't get sand save points for beach, by the way. You think we would be saying Joe's got the box after that little set of tee shots? But he does. <laughs> Unbelievable. Watch him come back with an ace right after a hole like that, yeah. with that confidence after that chip. Funny which pixel he wants to hit over. Then... Exactly. There's a wave out there he's lining up with. <laughs> yeah, he times the tides. <laughs> he does. It's, yeah. it's really impressive. This is the design of hole winner, and uh, and uh, we we have talked several years about having a design of hole, and we've never actually designed one. Secretly, that though you and I and two of our other friends have started on to design a hole. Uh, this one is named after one of our great friends, Jeff Lannon. Yeah, Lannon's it's not designed Lannan. by him. Let's just be clear. Lemonades, right? Yes. Yeah. I did make a hole one time at a bar. I didn't submit it, and it was called Luna Bridge, and it was a, a mountain hole. Where you, went, you hit from one mountain to the other, and it was the only thing in between it was a suspension bridge. It was a par three. It looked like one of those rickety, like, cliffhanger movie-type suspension bridges. You might see it in Indiana. If, they ever, if there's ever a Himalaya course, or did they already do that? Is that Arctica Himalaya course? Yeah, I, I think that it is. I, that's King's favorite Maybe course. Maybe like an Amazon... Rain is that too soon? Too soon on the Amazon rainforest? Well, there's only about half of it left. Yeah, okay. So if we make a let's course get, out of it. Let's get this whole design quickly. Yeah. So on this part three, this is the one that is easy set up today. So no problem uh, with getting stuck up top or anything like that. He should hit an easy shot here. Yeah. Both guys make great runs at the cup. All right. Hole 14, Mike. This is a big one. And this is going to be big. I agree. I feel like this is actually a, like one of the pivotal holes, especially with I saw I caught a glimpse of that setup. Yeah. That setup. Yes. So now typical normal player, they're just going to hit it out as hard as they can straight and then hope to hit a good shot on their right. second shot. I'm assuming that's what these guys will do, too. But there might be something we've never even seen right here. Oh, I normally just hit it into that water that's on the right-hand side <laughs> and hope for a good drop. Yeah. Okay, so about, about what I expected. Yeah. Now, All right. now Mark, the hole is on. Mark now will it's a shootout. And this is lined up. This is a Mark Stenmark hole out waiting to happen. This is just a little thummy. Didn't like it. Let's reset it. Here we go. Just a little Love out it. wide. Love it. Did Joe make this, Sean? So, you call it yes or no? Sean says he can make it. Yes. Would not commit to will make it. And he didn't. Still well, tied. So let's ask Sean Gervais. We got we have four holes left. What's going to be the pivotal hole? 16. Sean says 16. So we're going to get through 15 and see. Uh, 16 is going to be the hole. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We talked about that a little bit earlier. 
a little added uh, a little added juice uh, for uh, for Joe in this tournament today. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you heard Sean. He was saying that Joe likes to drink White Claw. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So Sean called it here, by the way. No big deal. 15. Here we go, 16, now this setup, this is volatile. This is highly volatile right here, yeah. Sean called it. It's on the bottom, wind at our face. It's below the little tier. This is not an easy shot. For the everyman, this is a par at best. Uh, honestly, an everyman should DNF at this point in his match if he sees this setup. <laughs> if I see this. You're not worthy. I just play to the fat of the green and hope I get lucky. And what a nope. shot, nope. holy cow. No, we're gonna do that, stay up. Ooh. Yeah. I, it looked for a second like that was going to trickle in there. So now, if you're Mark, do you adjust your shot based on what you've seen the other guy do? Or do you still think... So he's going full. Look at this. Plays the full. And he's safe. So now Joe has to make this. He's got to find a way to make this. Oh, and that probably did it. That probably did the match in. Yeah, there's not enough time to. He has to make this and then get lucky on one of the last two. But this is not an easy putt, obviously. Do you switch to a club, put driver, and then switch back to putter, and then putter? Oh, he made it. Oh, yeah. Well, I knew he'd make it. Oh, I didn't. I thought there was no oh, chance no. he was going to make oh, that. That's, that's Joe Macera. Yeah, I did not see that coming. Guys, that's Joe Macera. <laughs> I knew he was going to make that. I was just... So now 18 could be a, a swing hole. Still, we could this still one, have extra holes. This one could be a swing hole. This, this isn't a... It would require someone holing out here. Yeah, I was going to say, this is not just a gimme eagle. This could uh, be a yes, double eagle yes. shot. Yeah, so this is the exact same setup, by the way, that in my match, the guy made it. Shout out to Paul Jensen for his double eagle. PJJ. He made it down here from Chicago. Yeah, it's turns out. Oh, oh. Joe could make this. All right. We're Joe going to wipe it down. We're getting a wipe down. It's yellow towel today. It's yellow Sunday. All right. Four wood. Three wood. Four wood. Five wood. It's just. Uh oh. He is. Working it out. He's doing a little dance over there, I, which I, Gervais I, says I totally, three wood bite. I totally agree. I totally agree. I think he's going. I think he's going to land on and three wood bite. Not bad. Not bad. But nope. not enough. All right. So now Joe's got to figure out a way to get one on Mark on eighteen. Where, where depending on the setup, exactly. it, I think it's going to be the angle. Here we go. Oh, so this is going to be a no. This is going to be an eagle for Mark Stinley. So Mark makes eagle. So we're and we're Joe's saying, got to make hole in one to tie. Fireworks from Joe. And don't be shocked when the fireworks happen. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. Mark is uh, trying to figure out how. How aggressive it can be and still just keep it safe. That's really his only option. And oh my word, that 
I did not see that coming. And I'll tell you who else didn't see it coming. Mark didn't like Marks it. Mark didn't mark. Yes. Did not see that coming. Body so now Joe, now Joe just has to make eagle on his head. Yeah. Now if, now if you're Joe, Eagle gives you maybe even a shot, you know, put a little pressure on Mark. Joe's trying to make this. Joe Joe wants to make this. If he made it and wins this match, yes. that would be... That actually happened to me in Chicago. That would be a Gervais-like level loss. I was playing Kendall. And I hit the green, and he aced it, and I missed my putt to lose. He is going full, six-wood, release... And not bad, not bad. Gutsy. We miss Kinsler. Wish he could have made it down here. Yeah, Kinsler, who, another guy who, big worlds, big worlds appearance. And uh, in the finals last year at TLC yeah, up in Madison. Yeah, yeah. So Chip for the win here, makes it. He's in the championship, and he does not. That's. And he missed that. So now Joe Massara. Joe. Putt for the win. Joe has a shot to win this match. Unbelievable. What a turn of events. Yeah, this is a just a little putt, and he's in. It's a little putt. I like it. Check check out. Make sure you don't have some goofy and little lip there. And a par by Stenmark on 18. And that's Unbelievable. That's Incredible, Masara. You know what? That's that's why. That's Golden Tee Tournament. That's 18 wild. right there. Yeah. So Joe Masara now king of the hill, and then Stenmark will play the winner of Luna Standard. Oh, oh. Us answers. Jesus wow. Christ. This match just got really exciting. This match is making me see Jesus. <laughs> wow.